So we're going to do a video on a bit of uh, kit bashing, or for people call it scratch building. Basically the idea is you take uh, some piece of packaging and you combine it with various other bits, either from old model kits, bits of plastic, um, other bits of plastic for recycling, whatever it is, and you basically glue those things together to make a piece of, I guess, sci-fi terrain suitable for tabletop gaming or whatever. So as a, as a bit of an example, um, this is one that I've made, uh, I don't know, you might be able to recognise it, it's a piece of packaging uh, that you buy a, a pair of those halogen light bulbs in. And when I saw it, I just thought it looked like something if you were to add enough bits to it, you could uh, probably make it look like something reasonably convincing as a futuristic, in this case very uh, rusty piece of equipment out in the wastelands or the ash wastes. So that's my kind of example thing and what we'll try and do is uh, make something a bit like that but this time uh, using what is the uh, the top of some sort of toilet cleaner bottle. I just thought the top of that looked interesting, maybe as something just stood some piece of equipment. And I've grabbed a set of bits here, just almost at random. I've taken a look at them to see what kind of goes where and what might work. You don't need a huge amount to do it, you don't have to like absolutely cover the whole surface. You know, you just need enough to suggest, you know, interfaces or connections, ports, whatever it is, to get the idea across. So that's the range of parts that we've got. It's going to be a case of super gluing things together. We'll need a little base for it, just so it's got something to stand on and be glued down to. And then from then it's a case of just putting it together. You know, I've already decided that that is going to go on there, which fits well. It's always a good sign when something just happens to fit. And all this kind of stuff you see on the side of the cap, that just turns into nice detail once you start uh, painting that and weathering it. That all becomes uh, really useful. So we've got a few bits and pieces to use and we'll see what comes of it. It's usually best if you've got no plan, you've just got to see what happens and then paint it up and it's once you get that what can look a bit a bit of a mess, once you get that painted up, it just pulls it all together and you end up with something that looks uh, pretty good for a bit of terrain to use in a game or whatever. So that's what we're going to do. So there'll be a number of videos just following along. We're going to do the, const the construction process. We're going to show how to maybe do some of these uh, seams on the metal work that help just bring it up to the next level. And then we'll do the paint, the painting, either maybe using chipping medium or salt to get this kind of effect. This one was done with uh, salt and then sprayed with blue and then uh, washed with a toothbrush just to kind of get rid of the salt and it uh, lets you get that rust effect coming through with your, well, the rust effects, the base coat basically. So that's what we'll do and uh, we'll have a wee set of videos covering that. 